Marquette County may have its first medical marijuana dispensary opening soon. Local 3's Peter Curry is in the studio with more. Peter? As you drive north down US 41 towards Nagani, you may have noticed a red house being renovated off Heritage Drive. The Nagani Township is waiting on the state to approve the first medical marijuana dispensary in Marquette County. We started down this medical marijuana road um, back in 2016. Um, we held a couple of public forums in the gym and we had a pretty good turnout. We had something like 50 people in attendance. Everyone that spoke um, spoke of the importance to them of medical marijuana and being able to find it and their number one theme was consistency. Township manager Nick Leach says people from other places in the county are looking at what Nagani is doing. He believes they've made the right decision in going forward. The township evaluated the, the comments from the hearing as well as um, a lot of state literature, a lot of information coming out of MSU Extension, and ultimately the Planning Commission um, recommended to the board that allowing for medical marijuana facilities was in the interest of the township for making sure that we had a handle on the way that this was going to work. The township believes joining this multi-billion dollar industry will benefit everyone living there. Under the 2016 law there is like a profit sharing structure. Um, so for a portion of the taxation and sales from the the licensed facilities do go back to the community and the community can you know reinvest that in ways that it sees fit to better suit their residents and their community. The Red House off Heritage Drive in US 41 will be called the Fire Station. It will not be the only medical marijuana dispensary coming to Marquette County. As of Tuesday, the Nagani Township Zoning Committee approved a second medical marijuana dispensary, which will be near Marquette Power Sports and Icon Signs. While the township says there is no timeline, I talked with the owners of the Fire Station who say they are hoping to be open by October. Reporting in studio for Local 3 News, I'm Peter Curry.